In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down my favorite plays in Madden 21, and that is the Gun Bunch Halfback Strong Z Spot. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to this video. Today, my channel is devoted to continuing to help you improve and get better in Madden NFL 21. We do that through a variety of different ways, but one of the ways to do that is through tips. If you're interested in getting better, what I want to encourage you to do right now is to go into the description and join my Discord. My Discord is kind of the hub of my community. It's where you can get your questions answered. You can set up lab games. It's really kind of uh, a whole community around my channel. So if you're looking to uh, join a community and get better and get some support, be sure to join that Discord. All right, Shotgun Bunch, Halfback Strong. Um, this is one of my favorite plays in the history of Madden. And the reason is because it's so dang good. Um, so Z-Spot, this route to DeAndre Hopkins. Now you do want to have like a good receiver, right? You want to have like a DeAndre Hopkins or a, um, and I like to run the bunch to the wide side of the field. So you, you want DeAndre Hopkins or you want a um, Devontae Adams or you know any, any stud receiver. And all I'm going to do with the route is I'm going to smart route it to get, make it go a little bit shorter. And what you'll see here is against zone, it completely, completely hits it over the top. You see, you get that nice diving catch animation. Now, you don't have to smart route the route. You can just run it as is. Um, you'll see here, this is cover for drop. See how it just gets right in this little pocket? And you can just aggressive catch it all day long, especially if you have a good receiver like DeAndre Hopkins. Now, this route to Larry Fitzgerald... Um, if we smart route the route, you see it's going to go five yards. It basically turns into a, a glorified slant route. And then what I like to do is I like to take Williams. I like to put him on a drag. And then I like to take Christian Kirk and put him on a motion snap slant to the right. And typically with the running back, if I want to, I'll typically keep him in the block, but I could also wheel him if I want to, okay? And so at the snap of the ball, what you're going to see is your first read is this drag coming across. This year, better than more than ever before, uh, drags quick the quick routes the quick routes uh, really really make a difference. And so, when you're running this bunch strong, you want to take advantage of this drag. You see here against man-to-man -man coverage. Now again, if it's not a fast tight end, it won't beat it. Um, but if you have a fast tight end there and mutt, you're going to get separation. And you could also um, on this specific play um, what you can do here motion him out snap of the ball and you see there you get the separation you're not always going to get it but most of the time i get it against man to man especially if i have a fast wide receiver so you know very 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 good uh, route there and then the other route um, that you want to look at quick is a slant now slants the reason i like to motion this out this year, as opposed to across, a lot of people like the motion across, is because obviously the, the quarterback spy there, but what you'll see, and that's why you want to put the running back out on a route. Because if you don't put the running back on a route, um, you'll get spied to death. And personally, the pressure this year is not that difficult to pick up. So uh, you see here, he's going to come underneath just like that, Christian Kirk, and it's going to give him more room to work. I actually really like this. Um, again, you want to have fast receivers, um, but that's Jair Alexander, one of the best corners in Madden, and you see he's consistently going to roast him. And like I said, I like to get him out there. I like to get him wide because he's going to come right in this little pocket here. This is part of what makes Bunch so good is that little motion slant. You can motion in both what both directions, but my, my personal uh, suggestion would be to motion that to the right. And then um, what you'll see is this route to Larry Fitzgerald. It's it's really, really sharp, and you want to pass like that to the outside. Now, again, it's a little bit tricky. Um, it doesn't always uh, – I don't think it really beats man-to-man -man this year, but it, it does get in a – um, you see how it's going five yards so it's going to get out there really really quickly right there and you see there again that's that's man to man so man to man I wouldn't throw it but against like zone let's say they run like cover three you'll see this route get out there wide and the, it does it does kind of take the corner out of the play. Now, one thing you can do if they run a lot of cover three on you is you can take Christian Kirk and just throw him on a, a streak. That's all you got to do. 
and I would keep Fitzgerald's route swat router just like this. But what you'll see is they'll take the corner route and they'll leave Christian Kirk wide open, pass through that to the right, and that's a one play touchdown against cover three. So you really have cover three taken care of. Um, let me show you the uh, let me show you the post route though against man to man. So then you want to bring him out really wide, get him out there, get the spacing. What you see here is this route to the running back does actually cook man to man uh, for the most part. Man to man here. Now what you'll see because it's bunch strong, you've got quads. And quads basically changes how the defense is going to play you. So you see here, see how everyone switches off? But the route to DeAndre Hopkins is wide open. Um, and I'm going to shade it over top. Um, we'll get the man to man. Shade it over top, shade to the inside. That's what everyone's doing. Or they'll shade the outside. It doesn't really matter um, for the specific route. But what you'll see is get them out there, and you're going to see. Pass leave that to the inside, click on, you're gonna possession catch that. Wide open, wide open. Now if I flip the play, uh, I do wanna show this. This is why I say you wanna have a stud receiver. Um, what you'll see is um, Christian Kirk will get open, but he won't get open at the same clip that DeAndre Hopkins will. So if we flip it and run it to the right, what you'll see here, Jay Alexander is gonna get inside leverage and he's gonna kinda of take that away. Again, it doesn't always happen but um, it's not consistent enough for me to rely on it. So that's why in, you wanna have um, a stud receiver uh, running that route. Just get him out here, motion snap, click, and again, it's inside, and you just wanna swerve him. You're basically trying to get your receiver to cut off the ball so that the defender doesn't have a play. And you see, you can get the ball there, it's just a lot more of a dicey throw because Christian Kirk doesn't have the same uh, abilities that DeAndre Hopkins has. And so he's just not able to get that same separation, especially against a corner that has those abilities. You see right there, just not there. But again, you can, um, I mean, you can run this all day against zone. If they're going to go zone, this is a money route. Um, it's, it's actually one of the better routes in Madden history against zone. And, and I'll show you here. So we'll flip this. Um, we'll flip the play. Now they'll run cover two. And we'll just throw a deep middle. And what you'll see again, get our setup in here. And you'll see this route is going to absolutely cook it right there. And you can low ball it, but just a very, very strong route, um, in my opinion. It's been a strong route for years. Now, one thing you can do, if you smart route Fitzgerald, push him over. See, he's gonna now go on a little bit of a, almost like a crossing route. You can do that as well. There's a lot you can do off of it. Really, the, the point of the video was to show you that this route right here, um, against most zones, if not all zones, is gonna get really good separation. And like I said, you can literally low ball it, and it's wide open. So, um, just a really, really good route in my opinion. Something that people aren't really talking about. Um, this PA bunch shot is actually kind of sick too. You see you get that crosser. Almost, almost was able to fit that in there. But man to man, uh, from bunch, one, like I said, one of the things that you really want to start doing is this, this combination right here. Bunch half back strong, and you run this route combination right here. Just a simple, 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 simple route combo. But getting out wide, and what you're going to see here is they're going to the man's are, the man assignments are going to switch off the running back, so you can flip that right out to him pretty quick. Um, to me, that's you know I don't, I don't know if anyone's talked about that this year yet, um, but it's been something that's been around for years. And again, um, gun bunch halfback strong because you're in quads, you're going to get different types of man beating. Um, you see right there. I don't think I got my motion right. But if you get the motion right, if you time it right, you're going to be able to hit that quick route to the back. But you're also going to have all these other quick routes. You're going to have um, your slants, your drags. Everything's really open against man-to-man -man because they switch um, because of the quads. So anyways, guys, that is a quick uh, money play for you. Very, very strong base play from the Gun Bunch Strong. 
Um, and then what we'll do is we'll break down a couple of other plays from the bunch for you today uh, just to get you started in Madden 21. Again, guys, thank you so much for uh, subscribing to the channel. We post four times a day, tips and tricks videos. We also stream every night at 10 o'clock Eastern time. And so if you want to really stay up to date with all the latest tips and you want to get your questions asked, as answered, be sure to join my Discord. You can also text me anytime. My number is 812-216-3644. Here's a couple videos that I want you to check out right now, and we will see you tonight.